Yes, sir. Bruh. Oh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. We will be announcing the winners. Uh, this is a this is actually this is a family vlog video, Jay Easy, and uh, you know the Easy Family Vlog, as you can see from the title, Jay Easy 365. Um, we're doing these. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to start doing these more and more, just because. I got, I have help. I got my editors now. I got D and I got Ace and I got, um, and I got, uh, legit ops, you know. And we're gonna try to make this channel be something great, man. Because, like I said, I, you guys may not know, I'm a, I'm a, uh, tech, I'm a network technician, not network technician, I'm a network engineer. And, uh, LJ, what movie are we going to see tonight, buddy? Exactly, we're going to see Star Wars tonight. But I'm a network, uh, engineer slash help desk manager slash whatever, man. So I am super busy. I work 60 plus hours a week. And uh, this is what I do for a living, man. And so YouTube, I'm just doing it for fun. So that's why I, I, I got some guys to help me out, man. And then just see if we can make this channel be something special. And if we can't, then hey, we gave it a good try, right? And you guys got some good content out of it. Anyway, if you don't do anything else, man, make sure you like the video. If you like the video, comment down below. Um, do you like do you like the vlogs or whatever? Do you like the family vlogs or whatever? Do you want to keep on seeing these or, or, or whatever? Um, and uh, subscribe for more daily content and stuff like that. Let me know how often you guys would like for me to do the vlog and things like that. And um, anyway, today we're going to see Star Wars Rogue One. I am super excited. You got the guy from Zero Dark Thirty and um, and uh, what's the other movie he did? They said Black Hawk Down, a director from those. He's going to do these, so he's a he's a uh, an expert on the um, uh, war cinematography, war documentary style movies. So we, 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 we're, I'm really excited about it. You'll see what Bridget thinks about it a little bit later on. And uh, LJ is already excited because he's been saying all the time, I want to go see Star Wars. He's dressed in his pajamas today because we have uh, pajama day for the kids at school. So I got him a little thermal on up under there. But my dad bought him these pajamas, man. And, and so my dad is his granddad. You know the, 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 the pajamas that your granddad wears. He wears the flannel pajamas with the uh, you know with the long sleeves and and all the way down the flannel pajamas with the long sleeves and the long pants legs so you know it is what it is man so hopefully he's gonna have a good day at school um, and we're gonna have a good day at Star Wars man but like I said this is something new for all my 2k people but anybody that's been following my channel for a long time they know that we do these these family vlogs and all that good stuff all the time so we're gonna like I said we're gonna start trying to do them at least you guys let me know how, how often we should do them three or four times a week or just whenever we can or whatever I don't know man and um but like today like I said a special day because we're going to see Star Wars uh Rogue One which is the first spin-off prequel slash uh whatever and if you don't know what Rogue One is Rogue One is I don't know the exact period of time but it's supposed to chronicle the time before okay when, when A New Hope starts, they're saying that, uh, you know, it starts with Leia saying, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're the only help, blah, 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 and the Rebels have stolen the plans for the Death Star, all that good stuff. So this is an undetermined amount of time before those days, but what it's supposed to be is the time before, uh, you know, they're going to show how they stole the plans more or less. And so I'm really excited about that. And we're going to see Darth Vader for the first time since... Um, since he came to life, like for two seconds, at the end of uh, episode three, so that's gonna be great, man. Anyway, I don't want to talk you guys' ears off. Um, the next thing you're probably gonna see is me and Bridget together, and, or, or me and LJ getting ready to go see it. So, and I'm out. I'm out of y'all later. Peace. LJ, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have returned, and as you can see, LJ is in his pajamas. We're back from school. Where we going, LJ? LJ, 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 what you got? Say hey, tell everybody hey. hey. Yeah, he got his pajamas on. We're going in the house. We're gonna holler at y'all later, peace. So we're here in LJ's room where you can see he's got a little mess going on. He's pulled all the, I don't know why he pulls the bed clothes off his bed, man. I don't know when he's getting ready to take a nap or something. Anyway, we got, he's got everything in here, dog. He got, he's got his little table, little Paw Patrol table. Um. Now yeah, you got a glove. I don't know what we finger painting or something. We finger painting or something like that. Uh, he's got a little Paw Patrol table. He's got his little uh, Black and Decker joint. Got uh, plenty of toys. Lots of toys in here. He's got his uh, iPad on the bed. He's got Disney characters that we got Olaf and Mickey. And you know we just got all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, you know we got his little bears. He got his little flashcards. You want some popcorn? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going to see? What we going? Star Wars 
Good job. So we're going to see Star Wars, and we're going to AMC. And you can see he has on his little uh, pajamas from earlier today. And this is his room, man. He's got everything in here. We, of course, we got a little camera right there. And it's little, he got a lawn chair. What baby you know? What baby do you know that got a lawn chair, right? Anyway, uh, we watching some DuckTales or something like that on Disney. And, uh, of course, we've got... Um, Jake and the Neverland Pirates and stuff like that. And I need some of that clarity. But anyway, we're going to see Star Wars. Bridget is outside, so we're going to see her in a second. So we'll holler at y'all in a few. Tell them, LJ. Holla. Are you ready to go see what we're going to see? Star Wars. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, look at what the captain dragged in. Bridget? In I don't know what the cat has dragged in. Uh, anyway, can you introduce yourself, please? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree. Easy, a.k.a. Fresh with us a lot. B.K.A. The people jump back. All right, so what are we going to see, babe? We're going to see what, LJ? Star Wars. Yes, and he said it like five times this video. So we're going to see Star Wars Rogue One. I've already explained to you guys earlier this morning what it was about and all that good stuff. Are you excited, Bree? Um, probably not your level of excitement, but I am excited. Right. And just it, because I just got into Star... Like, you made me watch all of the Star Wars this over the summer. Right. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I yeah. would say that. And like I was telling everybody in the, early on in the video, this is supposed to be like before A New Hope, which is episode four, where they, um, where they stole the plans. So they're going to show you how they stole the plans for the Death Star and how they figured out that you could shoot the, uh the photon torpedoes down the ventilation shaft and boom, it would just blow it up, which mm -hmm. is a pretty bad design flaw. But hey, maybe the guy that they had to do it, you know, we're going to talk, it's, it's going to show us something about the guy that did it. Hey, maybe he, um, maybe he helped him do it or whatever. So we're really going to see the movie. Hope you guys uh, are so enjoying So this is not a pick off of... Uh, it's a spin off, but uh, like a prequel. So it's a spin off prequel. I'm talking about from what we watched last, right? No, 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 so no, no. Totally this is not different. a continuation. Okay. The continuation of the last movie that we watched uh, the Force Awakens. <laughs> the continuation of that movie will come uh, next year. Okay, gotcha. So right now, right now, what we got is uh, this is a prequel. So this would be like between this would this would be like episode three point five or episode you know four minus one or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Four minus point five or something. This is going to be between that. So hopefully everybody enjoys it. If you guys go to see it, let us know. Uh, like I said, we're going to come back. We'll tell you what we thought about the movie and all of that when we get back to the house. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. And, I can uh, tell you one thing. I am that? excited that we will be there on time. We will. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so like I was saying, um, you know, if you are, I, I have to remind everybody, make sure that you like the video, comment on the video, subscribe for new daily content. Because what, for whatever reason, YouTube has this thing where... If you don't immediately watch a video and, and talk on it or, or uh, you know, comment on it or a thumbs up or something like that, if you don't watch it, then they, they, they like to um, unsubscribe you from people's channel. Like, I, I'm sure a bunch of you guys probably been unsubscribed from my channel. That's why it's important to follow us on Twitter and uh, all that good stuff, man. But anyway, we're going to get up out of here. The next thing you'll see is us going into the movie. And uh, we'll take it from there. Y'all may not see us going to the moon because it is cold as crap. It is well, a 40 degree day. When we get into the lobby, it's going to be fine, though. Well, we Ain't nobody got nothing to say about a 40 degree day. 50, bring a smile to your face. 60, shit, niggas is damn near barbecuing on that motherfucker. <laughs> Go down to 20, niggas get they bitch on. Get they blood complaining. But 40, nobody give a fuck. As we coming in. They have the special edition Star Wars Rogue. So, guess it would be like Rogue One. Bam! So they got the Stormtrooper inside of it. They got a black one, and they have a uh, a white one as well. Woo! Almost tripped over that. But that's cool as I don't know what, man. I guess they got it so weird, the way you can probably win it or whatever. But me, I can't mess with it because uh, it's too small. Even if I want it, I'll just have to sell it because it's too small for me. Uh, you know, we got a, uh, I don't even know we got a four flex. Anyway, we out. Let me see if I can find these two fools in here. And here he is. I'm right here, You ready to go see the movie? He is super excited to see the movie. You got all of them, babe? Yeah, I got them all. Thank goodness. That's yes, hey.
What's going on? All right, so we are in, ladies and gentlemen, and the most important part of this entire th entire thing is the Fifty Shades of Grey. No, we just joking. LJ, he thinks that that's where we're going, but that's where Collateral Beauty is playing. We ain't going to see that. You going to get the popcorn and stuff? No, that's your job. That's my job? Okay, well, she did the tickets. LJ is going with her. He can't wait. He is excited. Bridget is going. What you about to go do? Kick some people? Kick some people out of our seats. I mean. Because you got the seats on reserve. Pipe it up, pipe it up. Seats on reserve. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get the, I'm gonna go get the uh, snacks. And Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, for stretch, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm out. Peace. Okay, what kind of you going to get? Uh, I get some fruity. Oh, what you want? Fruity and carbonated. All right, carbonated. All right, cool. Oh, Look at these two. Look at them. We in here. We in the theater, but look at them. Look at them. Both covered up. Yeah, they got his pajamas on. He just eating. Probably gonna have to go to the bathroom. You know that's your job, right? I don't know it's not. Yeah, it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're back after after the um the movie, and uh, you know, what did you think? You're just gonna jump right into it without no introduction or anything? No, we don't have to. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the end well, of the vlog. Well, so, okay, so I thought the movie was pretty good. And so, have we not told you this already? So, now our movie theater has been upgraded with um, the reclining seats, and you can reserve yes. your seats online, which I love because. I go in there with the anticipation that I'm ready to kick somebody <laughs> out of our seats. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't know what it is. Why well, I sweat? I don't know what it is, but I'm just like You feel like scoop to the right a little bit. To the right. I thought you meant the other right. No, I said the right. Yes. Okay. So I don't know. I just it's just the anticipation thing someone's gonna be in my seat and I get to tell them, hey, you got to go partner. So you go in there wishing somebody would. Yeah, but there were nobody in our seats today. No, nope, but there was some. It was a guy that was. Well, yeah, it was a guy that came in, and I saw him walking around. So we was like sitting on like the last row, right, of the theater. So I'm like, it should be no reason why someone is walking behind us right. or whatever. Exactly. And so uh, maybe like two minutes later, he ended up sitting um it was, right it's, behind. It's like a little. It's yeah, almost it like, like a, a, little, a very long bench. Behind us, because the last, the absolute last row doesn't have seats. Okay, so he ended up sitting like uh, behind us. So it's it's LJ right here, then me, then Jay. Right. So he was sitting behind LJ, and that how this thing is. I don't like no one being behind me. I don't like the right, right. The sense of someone behind me. Right. So I'm like, yo, dude, do you just want to sit here? Right. Because you, you could tell he was trying to watch the movie, but, but he, he couldn't get comfortable or whatever. Yeah. So, um, he ended up, uh, saying, uh, do you mind? I'm like, no, I don't mind at all. So, you know, LJ ended up sitting in my lap or whatever. So, the dude came and sat in LJ's seat. Right. So, I was just thinking to myself, you know what? Hey. If this is a, uh... If somebody gonna shoot up the theater or something, at least he ain't gonna... At least we'll he, be safe, because I offered him a seat. At least he was nice to us, so we well, not shoot the theater. But, you know, if he, gonna, if he was gonna do something crazy, at least he was gonna do it to us, because we was nice to him. Right, so, right. Almost like, what was that movie, Dogma, where, where the, they didn't say, uh... The, uh, was it Doc? Yeah, with Jamie Foxx and uh, Ben Affleck and all them, where, where the dude sneezed and they didn't say bless you, so he killed everybody except for the one woman that said bless you. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, I don't remember too many damn movies. But anyway, so speaking of the movie, what did you think about the so, movie? You know, for the most part, I thought the movie was pretty good. Um, I thought I, it was great, but I'm I, a Star Wars. I'm not a super fan where I know like all the comics and stuff, but I do know the movies and all that stuff, so I'm... I really enjoyed it, but go ahead. So, the only thing I say that I thought was pretty good because there were some moments that I dozed off a little bit. And so, I'm sorry. Hey, I just did. It's the sum up was kind of dragging just a little bit. But there was, like, the third scene that was kind of pretty badass. So, yeah. I was up for that part. Okay, yeah. We're not going to give any spoilers away yeah. or anything like that. And um, Is it worth going to see? Absolutely. Yes. Do we plan on going to see it again? Yes. yes but without LJ. LJ right. was with us, so it was kind of hard to... And you know, when your baby, you know you take yeah. the baby, like, he wasn't loud or anything. He just sat in his seat. Y'all saw how he was sitting in the seat or whatever, mm -hmm. but he has a potty, like, twice a movie. So, you know. Yeah, and then the movie was about, what, two hours long, right? I don't know how long it was. I think it was, like, two and a half two hours. Half it was, it was hours pretty long, long, but it wasn't It wasn't long, noticeably long. It's like, by the time you got to the end, you was like, okay, this is, the pacing was very good, I'll right. say it like that. It didn't drag anywhere to me. And, uh, uh, you know, everything was good. Uh, we're not going to give it, like I said, no spoilers, but um, 
so well right now no spoilers but hey if you if you like star wars you will love this and uh like everybody knows like i said it did indeed show how the rebels stole the plans like that's what the movie was about and uh you actually get to see what rogue one is and all that good stuff man so where they where that comes from so so it's cool but um that's what it's about now for the spoilers. So, if you gotta go, you don't wanna hear it. It's time to go. Go, 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 go. Yep, we're gonna give you five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the spoilers. Grand Moff Tarkin was in the movie and they um they CGI'd him. It was great. I had no idea because he looked so real. Yeah. And had they not told me that he was dead already, I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. That's how to me, that's, that's how good n- n- number one. There was a there was one part that was hella funny where there was a my, uh, was uh, they didn't have to uh, put the hood over the blind dude but they did that was great yeah that the comedic yeah, timing I, yeah. on that one was great um, Vader gets butt ass naked and I'm talking about bit literally butt ass naked and then later in the movie you see him get busy like he just he, he I mean his fight is off. yeah they showed him in his tank. In his rejuvenation tank or whatever it is that way where it keeps him alive. Oh dang, I must have been asleep on that. Why you wake me up? You could yeah. like nudge me or something. And then uh, so and then he at the end of the movie he whooped so much ass at the end of the movie. Like you got to see you got what you paid for, uh, with Vader, even though it was only like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. There was one good. other was thing. Good. There was one other thing you talking about. I'm thinking that um, one other thing. Uh the robot. Great comedic timing. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. liked him. I mean, I, th- I thought he was cool. He was like a stand-in C-3PO. And um, I'm trying to think. It was one other thing that I said that I wanted to that I wanted to talk about. Was, it, was, it, was it about the blind guy? No, it wasn't about the well, blind guy. Well, the blind guy, guy is very blind, badass. The blind guy was my favorite character uh, pretty much. Uh, I'm trying to think. It wasn't about the blind guy. It was the scene before the blind guy. And I can't think of Yes! Why the hell do... Imperial troopers, stormtroopers, on oh and the like. <laughs> Why do they wear armor when one shot can kill everybody except for the one time when the blind guy was whooping so much ass and the dude conveniently was able to take like eight shots? Like what why can why does why even wear the armor okay, when everybody okay. dies off of one shot? Okay, how you know they really died? How you know it's not a shock though? They were getting bodied! They wasn't getting up. I don't know, man. I, I mean, but, if he's shocked by something, maybe you just put them out on their back for a little bit, and no, then they no. back up. They just don't show that. Now nah, you see the burn mark go through their heart. But anyway, that's all I was saying, man. You know, that, that's one of the things in Star Wars that always tripped me out. Are, are, like, are Star Troopers humans and just those things, or are they like yes, they robots? Are humans. They yes, are they humans. Are humans. Uh-huh. Yeah, Storm Troopers are humans. But anyway, that was the only thing right there, man. So that's all the spoilers. Hope you guys go see the movie. Let us know if you, you know, what you thought about it, and um. Yeah, and if if you don't like it, just give you your money back for watching the movie. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let us know in the comments if you want to see more family vlogs, and we out of here. Till next time. It's your girl Bree Easy, <coughs> aka Fresh from the Salon, BKA the People Champ. It's your boy Jay Easy, a Fresh from the. Oh, need to go to the barber shop, BKA the People Champ. Okay, y'all. No, <laughs> no, no. Wait a minute. Holla! Cut this out. I got something to say. Okay. So, r- quick. Answer this question. They already go because they didn't want to see the spoilers. Oh, well, for the people that are still here, answer this question for me. So, me and Jay was talking earlier today, oh and so Jay said he was going to get a haircut. So, I was like, really? I was like, well, your hair is finally at the point in how you like it, so why would you be going to get a haircut? So, he said, I said, um, you mean you're going to get a shape up? And he said, it's the same thing. No, I said that I'm going to get a shape up. But nobody says, I'm going to get a shape up. They say, I'm going to get a haircut. And then you ask, oh, really? What are you getting? And then you say, I'm not really getting a haircut. I'm just getting a shape up. Nobody says, all right, man, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm about to go get a shape up. You say, all right, man, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to get a haircut. And then ask, was you about to get a fade or a low top or something? No, I'm just about to get a shape up. That makes no sense to me. It doesn't matter if it makes sense. If you think a haircut and a shape up is the same... Haircut y'all, y'all, just tell us what y'all say. say. Would yeah, you do? You do would you do it my way and say I'm going to get a haircut? When well, you're not somebody, really getting a haircut. No, you say I'm going to get a haircut, and then some. You look, if you're getting a shape up, hair, hair is being cut, so it's you're getting a haircut. Same, you if you're going to get a haircut, it, it's the hair on your head is getting cut. They trim, trim it down too. If you're going to get a haircut, even if you're going to get a shape up, don't you say I'm going to get a shape up, and then I mean going to get a haircut. 
and then somebody asks what you're getting, and then you say the shape up, or do you say, all right, man, I'm going to holler at y'all, I'm about to go get a shape up. Say it, no one ever. I'm going to spit that out. Yes. <laughs> say it and spray it. Anyway, man, we out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we out. Holla. Still not a haircut. Darth Vader was so badass, I ain't going to lie. Oh, fanboy.